Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Lean Media and the Lean Media video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today I'm going to be talking about how to insert an Amazon Associates product link into your WordPress blog. And uh, this is the situation. I have a new product. This is something I've launched through Amazon Seller or Amazon FBA. It's called Friend Forms. It's a product for, uh, for dogs uh, or dog owners, basically to track health and whatnot. What I want to do is I want to create a link on the website. This is a WordPress website. It's using one of the basic WordPress themes back to Amazon. And actually, if I wanted to, I could just go to the, to the product page. This is the product page. I could copy the link and then I could uh, paste, it in, paste it into here uh, using the WordPress editor. The reason I'm not doing that today is because I want to use Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates, this is a program which lets you create links to Amazon and every time somebody clicks the link, it generates a small amount of uh, pay to you if you're the owner of the Amazon Associates account. And in fact, a lot of people, they use Amazon Associates to like promote stuff like Cottonelle or uh, you know, Cascade or these types of, uh, you know, these charging cables or what all kinds of stuff on their blogs or on their websites to generate money. I'm not generating a lot of money from this. Like this month, I've only made about five, $5.44. Uh, it's about halfway through the month on, on clicks uh, that, from my websites. But this is just an, a, a way for me to generate a little extra income on stuff that I'm selling anyways um, and you know, generate in a way that Amazon lets you do it. This is a totally legitimate thing for you to do to help you generate a little extra income on your own website. And over the course of a year, that might be $100 or more. And I'll take that. So here's, there's a couple ways to create the link that you can put onto your WordPress site. One is to log into Amazon Associates. You have to register for this program. You have to be accepted to it. There may be restrictions on you joining the program based on various uh, conditions that Amazon wants. That could include being a resident of a certain country, having a US bank account, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna have to let you figure that, that, that out for yourself. But it, once you've gotten in, then you can start creating links. And uh, there's all kinds of tools here. The one that you want is basically product links. So you click on that and then it will let you search for something. Now one problem that I, I found with this is that sometimes your items may not show up in search right away or it will, it will be buried in results. So yeah, I can see right, right away that it's not showing up. And then it says, well, you can actually type in the ASIN, that's the Amazon standard identification number um, and use that instead. But I don't know that off the top of my head. What I actually like to do is I like to go to amazon.com, the actual product page. And if you're logged into Amazon Associates at the same time, you should see this thing at the top. It's called the Amazon Associates Site Stripe. And it lets you generate a link right from the top there. And in fact, I do this all the time. Like when I'm creating a new uh, web website for a new product, I'll come, I'll basically load the product on Amazon, I'll find it, and then I'll either click get the link, the text link, if you click that, it'll show a link like this, uh, a shortened link or a full link like that. You can put that in a tweet or a Facebook post or an email or whatever, uh, but for the website, if, if I'm going to put it onto a WordPress site, I'll click text plus image. This is what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Open a new tab, show border. All right, I'll, I'll select those options. And then here's the, here's, the, here's the code that you need. This is a computer code. You copy that, uh, control C on a Windows, command C on Mac, and then you go to your WordPress site. Okay, here's where I wanna put it. Um, edit page. This is the new WordPress editor. I actually don't like it that much, but that's what I have to use. Um, here's the text. Now it says, this is the existing paragraph you know, they don't make it easy to create a new paragraph. You have to go up and find this little plus symbol. Select pair. Uh, actually, don't select paragraph. What you want is custom HTML. And then I'm going to take the HTML from here. This, this is HTML. It's an iframe. Copy it. Uh, control C or Command C. And then paste it, which would be Control V in Windows or Command V in Mac. And I just pasted it in this code. And you know, to most people, this looks like complete uh, gibberish. Um, but basically, this is a code that tells Amazon when somebody clicks on that, that particular image, 
uh, not only to take the viewer to the product page, but also if the viewer ends up buying that product and maybe other products as well, to give you a small percentage. It's like 4% um, for, for most products. It's around 4%. That may change. So once you've pasted it in, you can preview it. There it is. It looks pretty good, huh? And then just click update. Okay, page updated, view page. So now the page says buy it direct from the publisher or use one of the options below. And here's Amazon. That looks pretty good. Later on, I might put other, there's other widgets you can get from maybe from eBay or Etsy or something like that. I might fill it up. But that's how you, that's how you create an Amazon Associates link back to a product that you're selling or maybe it's another, somebody else's product and you just happen to be talking about it. That's how you put it on a WordPress site. For more information on how to get the most out of various Amazon programs, including Amazon Seller, Amazon Advertising, Amazon Associates, check out my Lean Media video page. Go to leanmedia.org, click on video. I have a YouTube channel free. I have the Amazon Deep Dive for publishers. That's a paid thing. And then I also have other videos that relate to my Lean Media framework. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Ian Lamont, and I hope to see you again soon.